I don't know if you've ever felt alone in your life, but I think about one of the times I did was when my son Andrew was about to be born. We were, uh, my wife had just gone through this long labor and was pushing. All of a sudden they called for an emergency C-section and doctors came running in from all sorts of places. And uh, all of a sudden they, they wheeled her out and they handed me some scrubs and they said, here, put these on in case you can come in in a minute. And I thought, I thought to myself like in case I can come in and I was, so anxious and nervous, but I was also trusting because I knew that my wife was in, in the hands of great doctors. And I knew that, that that new life was about to happen one way or another, whether or not I was gonna see it, experience it. And I got to, I got to as, as they brought me down before the baby was born, eight minutes after they had taken my, my wife uh, into this room, they had, my son Andrew was delivered and it was a beautiful moment. And it was beautiful because I got to experience new life. In this Sunday's gospel, we hear Jesus say, I will not abandon you. I will come to you. He says, I will send an advocate. He talks about sending the Holy Spirit. And as the, the early apostles during this time at Easter, they didn't know what was coming, but they knew this promise of Jesus. They knew and were able to trust that God was doing something new. And so this, this gospel encourages us to wait upon God to trust that even when we feel alone, because I think even sometimes following Jesus, we can feel alone. We can feel like we're don't, not sure what's going on, but trust in this. God is doing something new. God is doing something great. And it's through sending this Holy Spirit into your life in, in a new way that God wants to bring about new life. And just as I wait, waited to be able to be a part, to witness the birth of my son, I, I pray that in your life, God is, is, is bringing about something new, some new life. And I think it's through waiting and trusting in the Holy Spirit. So ask the Holy Spirit. Ask the Holy Spirit to be a greater part of your life, to come into your life in a new way as we journey towards Pentecost this Easter. God bless you.